it's Erin, aka Star Sketch, and welcome back to a new episode of Chill and Chat with Me, a little uh, podcasty but video podcast show that I just sesh with you guys and talk about anything and everything that comes to my little mind. I hope that you guys enjoy the series. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one that we did last week. I kind of want to make this like a weekly thing, like. Uh, maybe every Thursday or something. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below if you guys want me to make this weekly. And then also put in another video each week of like an artsy video or a coloring video or something. So let me know. Uh, that would be something of interest. But this week's video was going to be this anyways. But I thought to myself, I'm like, I could honestly do two videos a week. You know what I mean? So, anywho. Without further ado, let's get into the sesh, or chill and chat, I should say. And uh, today is a special episode of chill and chat with me. I was reached out to um, via like in person, actually. Um, I went to Worcester Pride last weekend. It was amazing. And honestly, one of the best vendor events I've ever been to. The energy, the music, the just everything about it, it just was my vibe for sure. And I would definitely 1,010% say that I'm going to go as many times uh, that they do it every year. You know what I mean? Like every year in September they do it. So if you were at Worcester Pride and you saw me, hey, welcome. <laughs> uh, but anywho, I was basically I was at my booth and uh, this lady comes up to me and I didn't catch her name. I actually forget what her name was, uh, but it's okay. Mag X or yeah, Mag X. This, there's this uh, palm leaf, um, one gram each of this palm leaf blunt, and it's just a wrap, so I have to like fill it up and everything too. But um, yeah, this is interesting, and just like, uh, I can't believe like, you know, they, that she just like got it. She was just like, you know, I know what this is. Like, I know what you're trying to sell, and I know what you like, and she just went right up to me and said, would you be interested? Maybe she heard a conversation or something that I was talking to my boyfriend about or whatever, but this is what it looks like. Um, it even comes with a, like a paper thingy inside for like protection, I think. Or am I just dumb and that's supposed to be in there? I don't think that's supposed to be in there. <laughs> uh, can you tell I'm not a typical, you know, I don't smoke like... I typically smoke from like my my bong here or from my pipe or something so for them to give me this like it's an honor I thank you mag X they're 100% uh, uh, natural equity brands um, Mac mag X wraps.com it's right there I'll be sure to put their socials and their website down below for you guys I'll find that I'm gonna leave that out just so that I can do that in editing and stuff um but yeah i thought it was super cool that she came up to me and was like this is 100 percent natural and she also gave me these rose wraps which i might save I'm, I'm going to save for another video because i have never wrapped something in my life so this is just a new experience for me uh so their socials are mag x underscore official on instagram and then on youtube they're mag x wraps on youtube and facebook um, again, 100% natural. It literally smells like um, rose petals, and again, they're blunt wraps, so, you know, they're a little bit uh, bigger, which this is what we'll be smoking, which is insane. Um, but yeah, so I'll save this for another video, because I need to learn how to actually wrap something like this, because I've never done it before. So, I will figure that out. But in the meantime, we are going to be packing up this uh, blunt here. Um, again, I just kind of cracked it a little on the top on accident. Don't yell at me in the comments, okay? I'm not, I'm not, you know, as up to everything. And uh, this is my ashtray for the sesh here. I tried to clean it a little bit, but it's been used, I will say, by my parents, especially. Um, they use it more than I do, but I will link my friend Ebony's. Um, uh, Linktree website or whatever. Um, Solistic Flow is what made this. Here's the little sticker on the back. But yeah, she makes resin art and this in particular, she makes resin ashtrays. So cool. It even is, um, 
it activates in the nighttime, so it'll be blown up. So, like, when we come out here, we try to leave the ashtray on the table so then we can actually see where the table is because it gets so dark out here at nighttime because we don't have too many lights out here. We used to have lights that would, you know, that we strung along, but they actually died on us and just got damaged, so we just never replaced it. We have a little chandelier out here that's right above me. Um, but we just never really use light out here. So it's kind of cool when we come out here and this is like glowing. So uh, thank you, Ebony, not sponsored. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I am just doing this myself, you know. Uh, but again, definitely check out Solistic Flow in the description down below. And now we will talk about the blunt and other things on my mind. So first we're going to, while I'm packing, I will talk about some things. Um, how did Pride go? We'll start with that. I've never been to a Pride festival before, I got to admit. Um, this was my first ever experience, and as somebody that is bisexual, I definitely identify as such. I, um, you know, it was just all love. I loved the energy there, and I never really got, like, a lot of, I mean, I wasn't super open about it when I was younger because I didn't know like you know I I didn't know what I was or you know who I was or anything and it wasn't until I started my mental health journey that I actually ended up finding out more and more about myself so I actually need the ashtray for a second just so then if I accidentally spill weed it'll go into there uh anywho we'll unpack in this uh, but yeah, honestly, such a fun vibe. There was, all the music that they were playing was like my favorite music, like Charlie XCX especially. You guys have seen me dance to her thousands of times over on Snapchat. Uh, be sure to go follow the Snapchat, by the way. Uh, just You can just friend me. Um, I may or may not add you back, depending on, you know, if you interact and stuff, or if I know you personally, then hey, add me on Snapchat. Uh, I don't mind. <laughs> but, um... I, mo I mostly post on my story there just all about, um, you know, my smoke sessions, and I do a daily Star Sketch update on there as well, so if you guys like this of me, like, talking about Star Sketch and what I'm doing behind the scenes, that's where I do it. So go follow me on there. <sighs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm trying to find the stick. Where's the stick? Oh, did I? Oh, well, yeah, 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 it only came with one. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure you don't lose your stick for your second blunt here because it only comes with one stick, which is totally fine. Like, you know, whatever. But I just, I totally forgot about that. Um, anywho. But yeah, Pride was so fun. Guys, you'll be proud of me. I sold about like 20 paintings. Like what? Like there was actually people that wanted to buy my artwork? It's insane to me. It's honestly insane. So now, um, people are, like, wondering what what the next vendor event I'll be at and such, which, fingers crossed, I just applied to one, so we'll see if I get accepted, and if I do, that will be a big one as well. Um, I literally saw it at, like, 8 a.m., and it was posted that same day around 8 a.m., and I literally just applied. I was like, yep, yep, yep. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, uh, but in the meantime, I have no scheduled vendor events coming up. Um, I just am going to be kind of just chilling, enjoying spooky season. Um, speaking of that, um, going into my life a little bit here, I'm going to go see Ice Nine Kills in like two days. Like, I am not one to get into like a band. I'm usually more of a, you know, I like certain singers like Charlie XCX or Melanie Martinez, you know, whatever, but I've never been like into bands until the past year like I first was obsessed with Sim um who I got to see last year around this time and that was fun was that last year no that was dance dance Gavin dance was last year uh Sim was this past spring and now this fall I'm going to go see Ice Nine Kills which is I'm baffled I'm not gonna be able to go to the convention per se because I have um my boyfriend's birthday is this weekend, so feel free to say happy birthday to Anthony in the comments. <laughs> He'll probably appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited. Me, my friend Joey, um, my boyfriend, and my friend Mora are all going. Shout out to you guys if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. 
to go. And again, I've never been like super into bands growing up, but this one, if you don't know who Ice Nine Kills are, look them up and listen to their songs first and foremost. They're totally a vibe if you like heavy metal. Um, and second, they're a band that actually takes horror movies and create their own songs with them. So like, for example, there's a song that they have called The American Nightmare. That's probably my favorite song that they've written. And it's literally based off of Freddy Krueger, like the, the Nightmare on Elm Street movie, which is crazy. And then they did one called Rainy Day, which I'm pretty sure that one, um, I forget what that one's for, but I like that one too. And then there's Thank God It's Friday, which is for Friday the 13th. There's Farewell to Flesh, which is uh, referencing the Candyman. Um, there's, there's a song that they made, Assault and Batteries, and it's about, like, you know, like, demonic dolls. I don't think that one's, like, maybe it could be for Annabelle, but I don't think it's, like, for a particular movie. Some are for a particular movie, some are not. But honestly, I love it. I love the whole thing. I, myself, am actually a big horror movie fan. Like, when I was in my teenage years, like, I would have my friends come over for sleepovers, and that's what we would watch. It's like horror movies and stuff like it was such a vibe um today i honestly might watch nightmare on elm street just because you know the concert and everything and also spooky season came early this year like i'm usually not prepared for like spooky stuff until october 1st but with seeing all the stuff like you know the cozy coloring books with all the halloween stuff and then seeing like five below come out with some like halloween decor already it's just gotten me in the mood for spooky season already. And then, like, I've been watching on, like, TikTok and YouTube all of, like, the horror, um, like, horror scare, um, prank videos. Like, when somebody dresses up as Michael Myers and, like, scares people. Or even the ones where they tour haunted houses. Like, I am in my spooky season time. Like, I... I'm obsessed and with this concert I'm going to in a couple of days I literally go on Saturday so when you see this it'll be in like two days uh, if you're watching this the day that it uploads um, it's so crazy that you know full circle you know I fall in love with a band that just so happens to also do songs about horror movies <laughs> like it's just crazy so I am so excited to go to that I gotta let my family know to be prepared tomorrow because the Worcester area that I'm near um, will be packed probably with people uh, in the center of the city so um, that'll be insane. I'm excited though. Um, again I wish I could go to the convention and stuff but I'm so excited I get to have like I'll be right there. I'll be right there like ah, like I'm so excited. So excited. I got a um, Nightmare on Elm Street t-shirt um, that I got from Walmart <laughs> that I like ordered and whatnot you know I just went on their you know app and was like horror t-shirt and make sure that it was in my size and A Nightmare on Elm Street was perfect because I love the song American Nightmare so I'm excited for that um yeah and then I have like a black skirt and some black lipstick <laughs> some mascara like I am going all out I did the same thing with um I did not do that for dance Gavin dance because that was my first ever like big concert like that um so I didn't really know what to expect so I wore boots don't do that no 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 you want to be comfortable when you're in the standing area so you definitely bring like sneakers or something like yeah um so I did that but lesson learned wear sneakers next time Erin and when I went to Sim, I, um, my boyfriend surprised me with black sneakers that I wanted. So I was able to wear those because we'll be, we were literally walking. We had to take the train and stuff when we went to that concert. So I definitely did not want to walk around in boots, but I was still sore from walking. <laughs> um, but for this one, it's only going to be in the next city over for me. So it's not even going to be, one, that bad of a ride, and two, not bad of walking either. Um, we'll probably just park somewhere walk to it you know whatever and it'll be fine so I'm so excited ah, I haven't been to a concert in forever and it feels like it feels like I just went to the sim concert but at the same time like it, it feels like crazy that that was back in like April or March I think it was April actually 
which is crazy. Um, but yeah. And then what else? What else? What else is going on? Um, honestly, that's pretty much it that I'm like looking forward to. And then my boyfriend's birthday, like I was saying, we're doing a two parter. We're celebrating with his family this weekend. And then in a couple weekends, we'll be celebrating with his friends. So I made sure to like have gifts for both occasions. And oh my God, oh my God. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you guys what it is yet. Cause I don't want him like watching this video and being spoiled. But let's just say I'll be posting it to my Snapchat. He doesn't have Snapchat, so I can talk about it on there. So if you guys want to check out what I got for my um, for my boyfriend's birthday, go over to my Snapchat, um, and I will show you guys that on there for for dang sure. I yeah, I won't say too much about it because I don't want him to be too excited about them. But it's uh, anywho, I am just life is just really good right now. You know what I mean? And it's just like... <sighs> I was talking about this over on my Snapchat the other day. But gratitude is literally the attitude. And I even have like a coloring page. I know this is like so random. But I have a coloring page over on my Etsy that you could download. So if you'd like to get it, go over to my Etsy shop. It's in my link tree link. But yeah, it's just crazy that that's been like my motto lately. Especially because yesterday was 9-11. And you know, um just reflecting on life in general I just reflecting on my progress reflecting on you know everything I'm I'm not even done filling this <laughs> I'm just like ranting and ranting not even you know I will say I'm a little chill I had like two hits before this um just to give you all the premise okay I think that that's filled enough all right here we go Actually, before I light this, I am going to go run to the bathroom real quick. Editing, Erin will fix this. But yeah, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. Alright, the power of editing, that wasn't me being in the bathroom for a little bit. <laughs> oh well. Um, but for you guys, it was like a split second. Power of editing. Anyhow, let's get into the star of the show and just see what happens. I'm just gonna review it. I think the talking portion is basically done. <sighs> I'm just getting hungry. <laughs> Alright. Cheers, everybody. Let's try this out. Damn. Thing is, I don't like I said, I don't really smoke blunts like this, so these are the probably only two I'll have for a while, but god dang, one gram in this thing? One whole gram. <coughs> Plus, I've already smoked a bit too beforehand, so we're about to have a fucking day here. <laughs> I'm excited, but... Ugh. I should probably put the rest of this, uh, weed in, uh, the, the, um, my chill stuff <laughs> into the container. I keep forgetting that I'm recording this for YouTube, like, I gotta be a little bit more careful, I guess. Alright, just putting all the excess weed back in, or the excess chill stuff, ah! Why can't it just be okay to say it? I'm not even posting this to the, like, the kid side, so it's like... You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Oh, I need this. I was like, let me just put this ashtray away. Okay. E. There we go. Also, be sure to stay hydrated. Oh my god. I, I think my whole body was kind of thrown off. And, um, on my street currently, we're having construction done, and, uh, they had to shut my water off for a whole day, and that totally threw me off, because I didn't drink as nearly as enough water as I normally do. I typically drink probably about three of these a day. I'm only really supposed to drink two, but I drink three, and I only drink one, like, bottle that's, like, le like, smaller than the size of this, and my whole entire day is, ugh, my whole entire, like, 
body is thrown off now, you know what I mean? So it's like, ugh, now I have to get back into, you know, drinking a lot. Not, in a, not drinking alcohol, you know what I mean? Drinking a lot of water. I also haven't had my electrolytes. I usually have like one little mini Gatorade a day just to make sure I get my electrolytes in. And I haven't done that. I have an order coming in though today for some more uh, Gatorades, so that should help. But, ugh, it's just been one hell of a ride when it comes to just figuring out what my body needs. And what my body needs is different than whatever everyone else's body needs. My body needs a hell of a lot of water and I need to constantly be either hydrated and or make sure that I eat the meal that I need to eat for that time. So like for example after I film this I will be eating lunch, you know, and just probably chilling out coloring in my living room because I already have it all set up and I'm so excited. <laughs> Me drinking my water ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. I never really was into ASMR. Like, I never like would, you know, go out of my way every night to listen to ASMR things. If I go to bed at night, I am nine times out of ten going to listen to Game Grump Sleep Aid uh, compilations. Like, that's my shit. Ooh, that was a nice hit there. But yeah, let me know what you listen to. Do you listen to anything when you go to sleep at night? Or do you just, you know, um, just kind of, I don't know, not listen to anything? That baffles me, not listening to anything. I mean, I only really do that when, um, like when my boyfriend sleeps over, I respect the fact that he's there. So, for the time being, I just kind of have, like, something on until we both get sleepy, and then we turn off the TV and say goodnight to each other, kisses, bleh, you know, love, lovey-dovey shit, <laughs> and then, um, we go to sleep, and I don't listen to anything, or, you know, use my phone, or any of that, but when it comes to me be sleeping by myself, oh, I think more of the sleep aid is just more of a comfort, you know, thinking that someone else is there, but they're really not that sort of a thing so yeah when my therapist point that out pointed that out to me I'm like holy shit that makes sense because the fact that I don't do it when my boyfriend's there it it's so clear now to me that that's why I do it so um, let me know what you do uh, do you listen to something or do you have someone to go to bed with every night and say I love you and good night and all the lovey dovey shit I don't know. That's just funny to me. I can't, like this, it, like it's making me prepared for the day that me and Anthony actually like have a place together and stuff. Because like him and I kind of have the same kind of habits in a sense. Where he doesn't do this, by the way. He does not. Um, he he'll do um, edibles. Like he'll eat one, but he won't do this, which is totally fine. Everyone's into their own thing. Like he likes. Uh, playing video games a lot. I'll only play for like an hour or two and then be like done <laughs> Unless we're playing together then I want to be on as long as he wants to be on you know um, But yeah, it's just one of those things that like, you know, but we do you know share Interests so like he got me into trading card games. I got him into being a little bit more artistic, you know Not autistic artistic. I, I whenever I say that I always am afraid that I'm saying it the wrong way and people will say to take it the wrong way. Because like having autism myself, I'm like, God, those two words just sound way too similar. It's kind of hilarious to me, to be honest. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, um, no really, what else was I going to talk about? We're not talking about the debate. I don't do politics. You guys should know this by now that have been following me for a while. I do not do politics. I It's not that I don't care. I do. It's just I hate talking about it. So just to let you guys know, if you're looking for something that's not political and not going to talk about anything political, this is the place to be. Because it's not that, again, it's not that I don't care. I want my our country to succeed. However, I just... Uh, 
I'm not super into it. I'm not super into politics. I'm not super into sports. <laughs> like, I respect the fact that my dad watches all of the hockey games, all of the football games. Like, this is his prime time. Like, he's so excited tomorrow, I think, starts preseason for Bruins. So that's all he's going to be talking about, which that's his thing. Everyone has their thing. So for my dad, it's watching those games after, you know, a long day at work or a long week at work. You know, he can look forward to, you know, chilling with me because my dad does chill. Um, but also, you know, just to be able to watch his favorite game, his favorite sport. You know, my dad grow grew up actually being a hockey player himself. So it's just crazy to me how that manifests into a hobby of his nowadays. Um, but yeah, I will be personally going to go see a movie tomorrow. I'm so excited. Me and my friend Gabby are going to go see Speak No Evil. It's the new um, horror movie coming out. And apparently it's like really good. So I'm like low-key very excited. And I love going to the movies. Is anyone else like love going to the movies? I don't would not recommend movies for a date but going out with friends and being like let's all go see a movie together it's a vibe i especially have been going to movies more often just because more good movies are coming back like the crow is coming which i've actually never seen the crow <laughs> but you know they're kind of remaking all this stuff and then also um, there's a new Lion King movie coming out, which is the story of Mufasa. I hope they don't flop it. I really don't, because Disney has been disappointing me. <laughs> let's, let's get into that subject. That's our last subject of today's episode. Disney has been disappointing me. Have you all seen the new, um, Snow White live action movie trailer? Excuse me, but I don't think that that's how the story goes. <laughs> like, I don't know if they're changing shit. I haven't really been, like, on top of it as of lately. But I am just not excited for Disney's approach to these classic tales. Like, the fact that Snow White was the one that literally built the whole princess brand uh, company, you know, just the whole name Disney Princess started because of Snow White. And if you guys didn't know this already, Disney literally took a risk with putting out Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Like, a lot of people told him that it was going to do bad, that it was not going to be successful. And But he didn't give up. He's like, no, I am putting out this story. This needs to be seen. This needs to be heard. This needs to be turned into, you know, a kid's classic that they can just watch and have comfort in seeing Dopey and, like, you know, the whole story. Um, so, when I saw that they were doing a live action remake, which they basically already kind of did with Snow White and the Huntsman, but like, I know that that's a little bit different than the original animated classic, but apparently, um, they just, they're just butchering it, and it's not making me happy, because I'm like, why are you redoing something that doesn't need to be redone, but also doing it and failing at it? Like that, 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 so I just hope that that's not the case with Mufasa, the new um, live action Lion King movie. The live action Lion King movie, like the one that's based off of the animation, not terrible. I will say, not terrible. So I hope that you know um, the live action Mufasa movie is better. But I recently I saw, um, what did I see? I saw. Deadpool and Wolverine, and then I also saw Borderlands movie. Two completely opposite ends of the spectrum here, buddy. Like, De uh, Deadpool and Wolverine was the first one I saw. 10 out of 10. Loved it. Probably one of the best movies I've seen in a very long time, I will just fully admit. Um, if you have not seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Especially for those of you that are not super into superheroes and Marvel and stuff. Like, I'm not super into it, and I loved this movie. I love all the Deadpool movies, to be completely honest with you. Like, that's one series of superheroes that I can get down to. Now, Borderlands, on the other hand, went with a totally different group of friends to go see this one. 
and this group of friends, they actually, like, played Borderlands and stuff. I had never played it before. I've only ever heard of it. But I was like, sure, I'll go with you guys. Awful movie. Like, terrible casting. Not very good with, you know, the... It was just awful. And you probably have seen that all over. Like, Borderlands is just awful, you know, whatever. And, uh, I just... I couldn't get myself behind it. It was like two different opposite ends of the spectrum. So I'm hoping that this movie I'm seeing tomorrow, uh, Speak No Evil, is either somewhere in the middle or really good. Like, that's all I'm hoping for. So, not too bad of, you know, intentions going into it. But yeah, it's just been, honestly, like, life's just been really nice. We're almost done with the blunt, by the way. I'm just going to take a hydration break, so if you'd like to join me, feel free to. Water is just so great for you in many different capacities. It shocks me when someone tells me, I don't like water. Like, what? Like, water is- you're made of water. You're- whole life is made of water like how can you not like water i knew this um girl who actually transitioned into a man um but she but they were a girl in high school um their name was audrey at the time and uh basically yeah they just would never drink water and i'm like how can you never drink water like that's just like insane to me instead they would have you know um energy drinks soda just everything that wasn't good for you. <laughs> I'm like, how can you just like live off of that? And mind you, she was like a stick too. So I was just like, this is crazy that like, the, you know, somebody could live like that, you know? Importance of water, people. I'm not much of a soda drinker, but I'll, you could treat yourself to a soda drinker, a soda drink every now and then. Um, I know my boyfriend definitely does that because he tends to like leave, he'll like drink so much water during the week that when the weekend comes it's like kind of a, not a free for all, but like time to treat yourself, you know what I mean? So that's one, what me and him have been kind of um, doing lately. So if you've been wanting to like be healthier and shit, like definitely start with that because that's probably the easiest way to start. Ooh, I got, I got ash all over me. Um, it's definitely a good way to start um, getting healthier is like Monday through Friday. Be super, not strict with yourself, but just like be like only eat this kind of stuff. You know, make sure I get my veggies in, make sure blah blah blah. But when the weekend comes, that's when you can kind of, you know, when you go out to see a friend or something. Like, for example, when I go to the movies on Friday, you know your girl's gonna get a big thing of popcorn and share it with her friends. <laughs> and get all the extra butter on it. And maybe get an iced tea or something. Like, I don't usually have iced tea anymore during the week. I typically only have coffee, water, and my one thing of Gatorade. And that's it. Sometimes I'll have, like, the tiniest bit of alcohol, but <sighs> alcohol's kind of overrated. That's another whole topic I can go into another day. But like, I'd rather be doing this than drinking, to be honest. I'm also kind of a lightweight too, so, you know, that kind of doesn't help either. Um, I'll have one or two drinks and be done, <laughs> you know? But yeah, it's just crazy that life can be that way. But I'm so excited to go see that movie tomorrow. I just love like, going into the movie theater, you know, showing your ticket, going to get your little snack and drink, and then you go in and you uh, get to your seat, which this time I actually like book seats ahead of time. I don't normally do that, but like, I, I think I wanted to do this because it's like the opening night for this movie. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, or one of the opening nights, I should say. I think they're doing some showings tonight for it, but they're definitely doing more tomorrow and I wanted to make sure that I got in the middle seats with the railing so I could put my feet up a little <laughs> and I could watch the movie in peace I've gone to the movies by myself before I don't know if you guys remember that video I posted on TikTok a while back 
of me, like, reflecting on my year of 2023 or 2022, one of the two. It was the one where it was, like, the year of love, aka self-love, and love for my family and friends and all that. This was before I even met Anthony, so, um, I was definitely on, like, a self-love journey back then. And I would take myself out on dates, like, I literally one time just took myself out to go to Five Below and a lunch. I need to do that again. I miss doing that shit. And, like, just because I'm in a relationship now doesn't mean I have to stop doing that. Like, I could still take myself out on a date, like, by myself. I mean, it's more fun now that I have a boyfriend, but, you know, <laughs> I could still do those things. I just haven't, you know, I've been so busy every weekend, and then the week I try to focus on getting shit done here at the house or for Star Sketch, for you guys, whatever, that then my weekend gets booked, and then I'm like, oh, I didn't schedule any time for myself, so... I gotta make sure I start doing that. Um, but yeah, I'd literally take myself to Five Below shopping and getting lunch. Or, I like I showed in this video, I went to the movies all by myself. And, went, and I went, guess what movie I went to go see? Let me hear your guesses. They're all wrong. I went to go see The Black Phone. <laughs> the new, well at the time, the newest horror movie of the time. Watching that by myself... I need to go to the movies by myself more because holy crap no one bothers you it's usually very quiet in the theater anyways I highly recommend it I miss that but <laughs> now with being in a relationship and also having friends I would prefer going with people just because of the fact that before the movie starts you could chat you can catch up you can eat your popcorn together blah 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 and then as it gets to the start of the movie you're like okay okay now it's time to go like it's time to lock in we gotta watch this movie and see how good it is and then after you can talk about it like you can say like oh do you want to go get like a drink or something and talk about the movie sure and then you just go and get a cheap drink and then you talk about it and talk about your insights about it and then you go home that sounds like a freaking fun friday night to me so i'm excited i don't know if her and i are gonna get go somewhere after because takes about an hour for her to get to me anyways so she might have to leave like after the movie um which is fine I'll probably just like eat dinner at my house or whatever after if I'm hungry or whatever oh I need to light this again almost done guys thank you for session with me today by the way if you have been uh session along with me as I've been talking here. That's freaking awesome. I wanted to ask you guys, I know that Jezebel uh, does Jezebel's Fried Podcast over here on YouTube. Well, she does it on Twitch, and then she uploads the Twitch slash kick stream to YouTube on her channel. I didn't know if you guys would be interested in this becoming a a live show rather than a video and then I can upload it afterwards obviously um, like for people that miss it but let me know let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing that as like a live stream or some shit like just of us talking about stuff like this um, and you're welcome to you know not even do this you don't even have to sesh if you don't you can like color you can uh, do artwork like you can do cleaning in the background it would just be one of those things that you could just kind of play in the background and listen to you know so that's something I've been thinking about as well so instead of making this like a video this would be like a weekly live stream the only thing is is that one I would have to figure out Wi-Fi situation I mean I like have my microphone out here and you know I have a good setup and shit I might add some more like stuff to the backgrounds to make it more interesting but um you know I I want to start this you know I I had the idea of it over on my Snapchat too. Again, follow my Snapchat down below. But yeah, it was just crazy that like, you know, I had this epiphany of like, oh, I could do that myself too, but I don't want to steal other people's ideas because I've been told in the past that I, you know, stole somebody's artwork. That's another story we could go into another time. <laughs> Maybe that could be next week's story time of somebody starting a rumor that I copied a big, uh, a big YouTuber's, YouTube art, a big artist's work. There we go. Because that was a little thing. 
ridiculous, if I might add, because I think me and this other girl have completely different uh, styles, to be completely honest with you. And I've been told that by several in-person people that come up to my booth and see my artwork. They're like, oh, you look like this person's work, but you have your own flair and I like it. Quote by quote. Except, insert the name there. <laughs> I could talk about that at a future video. Or future live stream, even. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys think that this should be like a live stream thing versus just a video. Well, we finished the Vibe Blunt. And uh, honestly, rating time. Um, I'm just going to set it down over here. Um, rating time. 10 out of freaking 10. <laughs> I'm just gonna say 10 out of freaking 10. I've already had the other one, uh, so now it's completely empty and shit. Um, I'm gonna have to take a picture of the back of this just so that I can find, uh, there we go. Just so that I can find the company and shit when I go to edit this video. But, um, honestly, such a vibe. Love the packaging of it. I love the... I love how natural it is too. It's just really great. But anywho, you guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I know this has been like an hour long, but you know, this is how it would be on like a live stream or whatever of just me kind of talking to you guys. It probably would have been longer if you guys had to wait for me <laughs> to be in the bathroom, but power of editing. Uh, let me know if you guys want this to be a live series or a video series. I could do either way honestly it doesn't really matter to me we could start it off being a video series until I get enough people to watch it and um, then I can transition over to a live stream thing we'll see where the future goes where it flows I need some food by the way I already showered that's why my hair is pulled back anytime you guys see my hair pulled back like this nine times out of ten either a I want my hair out of my neck or two <laughs> I took a shower and I just don't like wet hair on this region of myself so um but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below leave a like if you enjoyed the video and um comment down below let's see what could be the question of the day that people can answer um comment down below why you like water do you like water first off and second off what is your favorite beverage in general but besides water uh, besides water what is your favorite beverage um, it's kind of funny because my mom's work did that as a you know like exercise they like whenever they have like a team meeting or whatever they're always like trying to have like a icebreaker question and that was this week's icebreaker question so it's kind of funny full circle anywho I will see you guys all in the next video I'm gonna go get myself something to eat and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. Happy Thursday, everybody, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.